Hey guys, this is Sabrina the Dreamer. Today I'm gonna take you guys along my cutting, bleaching, and dyeing my hair process. Brad Mondo, I'm sorry if you guys know that. Um, yeah, honestly, uh, I've just been wanting to get rid of this like weird red streaky stuff for quite a long time. The undercut is growing out. Um, honestly, yeah, so what I'm gonna be doing is maybe cutting just a little bit, um, bleaching it, and then I have this sort of like light grayish purple pink color I'm gonna try. We're gonna see how that turns out. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Okay guys, so first of all, before I do anything, it is one of my days where I gotta work out. So I'm gonna do that and shower and then get back to you guys. Okay, so I've heard that it's not great to bleach completely clean hair, but I've also heard it's not good to do it when you're like sweaty or whatever. So what I did was I kind of just like washed the roots of my hair and like the undercut. I'm not really dyeing that part anyways. Just kind of like washed along here because all of this was not sweaty. I know that really doesn't make sense, but we're gonna do a small cut right now because I tried to cut like the frontmost strands earlier and now it's like kind of uneven, so yeah. I'm done cutting it. It's a little shorter than I like, but it, it'll grow and like honestly I did want to sort of even it out and I know it's not perfect in the back or anything, but honestly like it's not super choppy. It's good enough for me. So yeah, we're gonna go bleach it now. Okay, I could have sworn I saved two sets of bleach, one from when I dyed my hair red and the other from when I did the teal part, but I could only find one from the blue sort of teal, but that's okay. I think only one will work because I'm not doing the undercut. And I also don't even really need to dye the roots, honestly, like, but we'll see. I'm sure it, it should be fine. Um, but anyways, so I've got this little applicator and um, gloves and uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. enough bleach as you can see there's this one little spot of my natural hair color that is bleached and everything else is not very much i made the mistake of prioritizing the teal instead of the dark red that i have honestly i realized that i actually have like a visa gift card so i might honestly if this bleach doesn't work i might just go buy some more and and do it again honestly because why not like i i honestly like i really do want to actually have hair that works out the way i wanted it to for once yeah i think my my battery just went low mode um but also if it's like not super bad then i don't mind having like some different streaks i actually kind of like that before but like with the color on top i just don't know how it's gonna work honestly i'm just gonna wait for the bleach to set washed out and see how it looks so i'll show you guys then okay so the bleach very much worked on the blue part the red is definitely lighter and then i didn't do my roots luckily i found we have a second set of bleach in my garage so we're gonna do round two of bleach and focus a lot on the red and the roots so let's go do that <laughs> I bleached the roots and I really, really tried on the red. 
it's still very red as you can see it's starting to burn the undercut is long i'm growing it out man but i don't know how this is gonna work i think honestly i don't mind if it's like the color i bought into red i feel like that could even look cool so i'm just gonna do the color after i wash this out hopefully the roots will at least be bleached i'll show you guys what this looks like after okay so for the most part the roots bleached i don't know why i didn't bleach like at the front right there but yeah it is still very it's a lighter red than it was before but it's a very bright red which honestly like the bleach into the red kind of eats though but okay so it's dark outside now so tomorrow i'm gonna just put the pur it's like a light purple i honestly feel like the light purple going into the red it could look kind of good so i'm just gonna go with that i don't expect it to go over the red i think the red is too dark all right guys it is day two excuse that i look tired i didn't fall asleep till like 4 a.m i woke up at 11 30 so it's not like i only slept for three hours but um i'm just tired um but we gotta get this done so we're gonna go outside and do the purple hair dye it is raining a little bit i'm hoping it should still work out you know maybe maybe it'll add it'll um accentuate the hair dye it'll add so there's more product that's what i'm trying to say all right let's go okay it's not too rainy it's mostly just cold um but yeah okay let's let's get started <laughs> Okay, so like I said, the rain really did start to pick up uh, as I was dyeing it. So I think that definitely helped disperse the product throughout my hair, but it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to rinse it out and show you guys. It will still be wet. Honestly, don't have time to dry it. I'm going to my brother's track meet, but I will show you guys once it's done. Okay, guys, it is later in the day. My actual hair like style is kind of messy now. I had it like it was all wet and in a hood for most of the day but this is the final look in the front it's very light pink honestly it blended with the red quite well let me just show you guys the back though i honestly i haven't seen it it is definitely still quite red in a lot of areas but i think overall like it looks okay you know i'm okay i can't see super well but i'm hoping that's not like a a bleached spot <laughs> Um, but from the front, I think it, it looks pretty good. I like it. It's, it's, it's cool. Okay, guys, so it is now Friday. I dyed my hair on Wednesday. I, yeah. Um, so I do really like how it looks in the front. There are some spots that are not fully pink. They're kind of bleached. So we did actually end up getting another thing of hair dye. We're going to do that today. So, uh, I will show you guys that. Okay guys, so we are here and I'm gonna get my mom to help me with the back because like I said, I think that's the biggest problem and then do a little bit more here because I think there are definitely some areas that are kind of bleached, so. Okay guys, we are gonna go wash this out. It's looking pretty dark. Uh, we'll have to see how it turns out. I'll show you guys after. Okay guys, we are back. My hair is dry now and I love it. Let's just see the back. There definitely is a little bit, still some spots where it's lighter, but I think it's definitely more pink than it was before. It was kind of bleached in some areas there before, but now it's definitely darker. Um, there's not a lot of red in it. I mean, I guess, at the back it's kind of a reddish tint of pink but it blends quite well and i love the color that it is in the front i tried to put like a bit of um curling product in it um but i didn't fully go through that so that's why it's kind of styled the way it is right now but honestly i'm loving it 
I love it so much. And you know, we got that Panic at the Disco shirt because I felt like it matched the vibe. So this is the vibe. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I love it. And um, I'm so happy that I went through with the second round of dye. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and yeah, bye.